What up YouTube, it's your boy J2s and welcome back to another FIFA video guys. Today we're jumping right into some foot sweep deals. The new promotion is out which is actually pretty cool. I'm sure you guys have seen this but we're going to talk about everything that we need to do for this in this video and how to do it if you guys haven't already seen how it gets done and if you guys think it's cool or not leave it down below while you guys are down there if you'd be so kind to drop a like on the video that would be awesome let's see if we can get like 200 likes that would be incredible also guys make sure to subscribe and turn on those notification bells if you don't want to miss a video because subscribing nowadays doesn't even matter like you probably won't see the video make sure you hit that bell if you do want to see when the videos do come live but the new promotion is out as you can see here and you can earn rewards from exchanging uh, uh, cards, basically, these pink cards that we're going to get for these blue cards, right? Pink cards, you have to do daily knockouts and SBCs and other stuff to get this blue card that we're going to be going after. And you need a certain amount of these pink cards to get these blue cards. That's pretty much what it says there, but there's going to be objectives to complete. Um, there's going to be SBCs to complete and daily knockout. Um, and also there's, there's still more to this, but that's basically the gist of how it's going to work. We'll take a look at everything on how it's working and all that good stuff. There is another part to this as well, which I really didn't even read through it. So let's go ahead and read through it now with the path to glory. So if a path to glory player makes his country's final 23rd man squad in early June, he'll be converted into a PG, a, P, a PTG selected item in game. So I guess he gets a new uh, instead of the purple card, he gets like this 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 color thing. I'm just going. I, I don't know if he selected to go perform for the World Cup, of course. Uh, so that's pretty cool, and it's coming out with the new player items and all this guys coming soon to FIFA. Right? They're trying to get us hyped, and uh, I'm I'm liking what they're doing so far. There are a kind of there's a little bit of negative to it as long with the positive. Like EA always act like. They have great ideas, but I think execution's always a little off. That's just my opinion. It just started. I'm just saying what I think. I think their execution is always off, and I'll explain why in a little bit later. Um, but yeah, it's it's basically through the SBCs. And, and again, I can't really say anything until I actually see the SBCs, but we'll, we'll talk about it. Either way, guys, the first uh, card that we're going to be going after is in the Daily Knockout. So let's go ahead and jump into some uh, some of that and, uh, and the gameplay uh, so we can get our first uh, foot sweep card, I guess. I guess it's a foot sweep card let's go ahead and jump right into this all right guys we're gonna go into the daily knockout and of course you guys know how the daily knockout is we gotta win four games without losing of course we're gonna go be going in with my squad this is what i have this is the only squad i have and we're gonna be doing that i don't think you guys saw the Paulinho. i was gonna do like a review video on him i did play with him in foot champs but i am using Paulinho right now his inform on the team and that's how we're gonna keep it for this daily knockout now we're going up against our first team here and it's a pretty solid looking bpl team here to be fair the 4-3-2-1 starts off well but but uh, we do pretty good ourselves with Messi uh, scoring our first goal six minutes in and then Hullet just, you know, doing Hullet type things. A little bit of skill to pass it off to Messi to find then Hullet again uh, for him to get his, I think, second goal there. Ronaldo again just doing the little spins, man. They work, they work, and they worked on this opponent so many times. Now, guys, I I'm not an advocate of rage quitting, I'm being honest, but if you see that you're not doing so hot and it's 26 minutes and you got four goals, please save me some time and anybody else you're playing and just rage quick because it's gonna it's not gonna get any easier to be fair five goals in by the 34th guys we're dominating our first opponent and i feel bad but i want this pink card i want the one uh that's here to get because i need to save up a bunch of these to get the player that i actually want so uh going in 37 minutes here uh ronaldo r9 passing off to messi messi scores i think that's his hat trick there as well him and hull i think were hat tricks in this game uh messi again again the same move over and over again just to get by david louise or any defender there worked against this opponent we got we're up by seven before the half second half really didn't go our way our opponent decided to stay the whole damn time we do pass this off to hull a great ball there from r9 to find hull and like i said R90 has become more of an assist man than a, a goal scoring machine for me, but hey, I'll take it, guys. Uh, we end up winning that match, and as you can see, our team did incredibly well. We win 8 a nil against our opponent here. My opponent had no shots on target and no shots at all. Let's go ahead and jump into the next game. First game was pretty okay. Now, I don't know about this whole daily knockout stuff, guys, because I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel bad if people are actually trying to get into the daily knock, like into foot champs, and, I, and I'm like stopping them from doing so, but hey. I need the card, man. I need the rewards. Either way, we get into the next match here. My opponent does have a solid team. If I'm not mistaken, he's playing in the 4-4-2, four, four, uh, but we're able to do easy work of that really quickly here. Uh, eight minutes in, we're up by two. Ronaldo with a beautiful header there off a corner, and then Alexandro to hull it here. Two, of course, right card to find Ronaldo. Him with plenty of space, just a turn 
and find the angle I wanted. Take the shot and bada bing, bada boom, boys. That's 3 0, 12 minutes in. And with that being said, this opponent does decide to rage quit, which saved me some time. So thank you very much. Um, and uh, and we do and we do well against that uh, against that opponent pretty quickly, man. So loving it so far. And we've won two games. We gotta win two more to win this thing. So let's do it. Game number three. We're going in, and my opponent has some icons and a pretty nice looking team. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I'd use Henri at Cam. I'd probably put Henri at striker. And uh, Ronaldinho, you know, R10 at uh, at Cam. Just me, though. But, hey, my opponent does what he got to do. Hulley here does well in the midfield to win the ball back. Ronaldo finds Messi. Messi just turns around and shoots, guys. And that's a beautiful near post, right? Near post uh, goal there from a Messi. A few moments later in the 27th, Balling with it now. Passes this off to Messi. Messi to Hullet. Hullet is going to take this all the way. Find the angle. And sometimes you just walk it right into the net, basically. It did get a touch off of the keeper there, but it goes in no matter what. And that makes it 2-0. In the second half, though, guys, we're coming up here. Messi to R9. Again, I love that little spin move. Finds Messi again. So just the one-twos with a little bit of flair there to make it 3-0 in the 47th. And this opponent as well is going to go ahead and rage quick, giving us our third win. We got one more game, and I could, like, lose it. And that would kind of suck. That would be kind of embarrassing. To be fair, you make it to the final and lose uh, with the team that I have. I I'd be pretty sad, to be fair. But we win our first three. We got to get one more. Our final game, and we get our first pink card. Yes, I'm excited. We just got to win it. Strong-looking team, guys. Really, really nice-looking team, um, to be fair. And, uh, and uh, you know, he did make some changes. Of course, Salah does go to striker here. But four minutes in, Messi is going to find Hullet. Hullet is going... Again, just walk around the defenders, find the angle that I want, take the shot, and bada bing, bada boom. We're up by one against zero chills. Uh, zero chills uh, is kind of getting spanked right now, honestly. Uh, the keeper, to give him the benefit of the doubt, did get a touch that, but it still goes in off of Hullet. If I'm not mistaken, that's two goals from Hullet there. R9 now finds Messi. Messi, what's he going to do? Just stop and pass, boy. Stop and pass, and then we get it to Messi, and when we're getting it, passing this off, uh, for Messi to Paulinho, uh, we win ourselves a pen there. Eggby gives us one, and then it's R9 that does take the shot. Again, Begovic does get a touch to it, but that's not going to matter in the end because it still goes in the back of the net to make it 3 and nil. Hull it to R9, Messi all by, and Lowsome, and the low driven to make it 4 nil. 24 minutes into the uh, final of this daily knockout. Ronaldo now taking it to the house. He's just going to weave in and out, find the space, take the shot. Before my opponent could actually turn into the defender, I just took the shot. And we get our fifth. R9 now again to Messi. Messi to find Hullet. R9 making the run. And boom, baby. The low driven to kill him. R uh, R9 gets what? Two goals? Three goals in this match? I don't, I don't even know. I think that's his hat trick. Either way, my opponent decides to rage quit, which I'm a little bit disappointed because that was the winner. And we get our foot, our first foot sweep card. Nice looking pink card there, as you guys can see. Plus the 2,000 points. We get the special card, but I wanted to see if there was something that happened at the end. Was there, like, pink flare, like, confetti falling down? Was there, like, a trophy presented? Like, did they do any animation for it for me to get the special card? You know, I, I wanted to see all that good stuff. But, but nonetheless, we do win this match, guys. Eight shots, eight on target with 59% possession. Uh, my opponents had great teams. Um, just my team kind of outclassed them, I think. But it is what it is, guys. Uh, we do get the win. We get the card that we're coming after, which is this pink card. Now, what I was talking about a little bit earlier is that we got to get a certain amount of these cards to turn into SBCs. We're going to take a look at that as well. But you take these pink cards and then you turn them in uh, for whatever you want. You could turn them in. You could turn in one card for the premium gold pack. You can turn in two cards to get a certain amount of players. Right? I think there's like three, for, uh, e three for each set. So. Three cards uh, for a gold rare pack, four cards for another set of three players, and so on and so forth, and five for a prime gold pack, and, and all that good stuff, all the way up till 11. Now, the card that I do want is this Alexis Sanchez. I am going to be going after him. This is the one I want. I need 11 of these. Now, what I was talking about a little bit earlier about, like, the negative to this, where I, I see there could be a problem, and, and there it is, guys. We got our first. We just now need 10 more. Um, the only problem I could see, and we'll have to see when the SBC drops, is how expensive it is going to be. I'm hoping it's not going to be super expensive to complete the SBCs, because if it is, that kind of sucks, especially with everybody that's done, like, these base, uh, basic, uh, or, or the, was it the basic? I think it was the basic icons. Everybody turned in so much, and right now, or don't have very many players now on, on, 
on the point of view of EA where people would have to put money in uh, if they don't have coins to get these cards good for them and their wallets bad for our wallets right that's the only downfall that I can see with these SPCs is how bad these SPCs are gonna be the objective idea is cool it's in game and that's pretty damn awesome um, my bad phone was ringing uh, it, it, it's in game to complete the objectives and, and that's pretty awesome and all that good stuff but um, for for the SPCs again I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on it until I see what they're gonna cost to complete but we'll see what's gonna happen uh, once they do release I don't think there's been I don't think there's been one that's actually dropped you know what I mean I, I don't know uh, this is the first me like the first thing of seeing these pink cards was today at 3 a.m. for me I've been kind of busy so trying to keep up with everything has been a little crazy but we'll see what the SPCs look like um, the, the the daily knockout tournaments is cool but it also kind of sucks for people that are actually trying to qualify for foot champs um, I like the whole tournament idea um, the objective idea I just I, I want I just don't want the, the what I'm trying to say is I don't want the SBCs that we have to turn in to get these pink cards not these ones you know the 11 for this I can understand like he's expensive he's a striker um, it's the, 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 the SPCs that we're going to do to have to get these pink cards. Hopefully they're not too expensive. Hopefully they're not 83s, 84s, 85 rated squads to complete them. We'll have to see what's going to happen. And on top of that, the dailies are going to have, of course, objectives, right? We're going to have to probably play with silvers. Probably going to have to play with this amount of, uh, English play. It's going to be crazy. It's all going to see, and hopefully it's going to be fun, man. I like the fact that they're doing things for us to have something to do during this time because there's usually nothing, but... It is what it is. I'm excited about it. I'm not going to hate on it. I'm super happy there's some content in FIFA 18 right now. And uh, you guys can let me know down below your thoughts on it, of course. Hopefully, I kind of explained what I was talking about. So, again, you turn these pink cards in for the blue cards. Hopefully, that now makes sense. Uh, but either way, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy FIFA, make sure to subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for all the support. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces, baby.